Hey everyone, Gary Guy in the pink shirt talking to the people that wear green shirts in the Avidine universe. Thanks for hanging out. I want to show you how to find the nearest approach departure or tracon frequency. Now, the IFD is very smart and every time you push the nearest button on the 540 or 550, it will cycle to the next nearest database it has. Of course, it always starts out with the nearest airports to your present position. Pushing it a second time takes you to the nearest airports to your destination in your flight plan. A third press will show you the nearest VORs, then the nearest NDBs, the nearest intersections, and as shown on this screen, the nearest air route traffic control center frequencies. It'll show the flight service frequencies. It'll show the nearest user waypoints that you've created and I'll even show the nearest air spaces. But where's the nearest approach departure or TRACON frequency for those air spaces? Well, easiest way to find it is actually using the nearest airport. Let me show you what I mean. So I'm going to, from the map screen, or I'm uh, sorry, the map button with the map tab currently open, I'm going to push the nearest button and make sure it's showing the nearest airports to me. Then I'm going to touch the nearest airport with a four letter identifier. In this case, it will be Decatur, Kilo, Lima, Uniform Delta. The reason I want you to show the nearest four letter identifier airport is many of the small private airports that only have three letters don't have instrument approaches. Therefore, they're not gonna have the nearest TRACON frequency attached to them. So it's quicker to just go to the nearest four letter identifier airport rather than going back and forth a couple times. Then I'm going to touch the info tab. If needed, I'm going to have to touch the paste, in this case, KLUD block to move it so I can get info from it. Then I'll need to expand the plus communications line. I'm going to touch the first departure frequency. In this case, it'll be 118.1 twice. Then I'll just push the flip-flop button to move the nearest TRACON frequency, 18.1, from standby to active. It goes very quick and it's very simple. Let me show you how easy it is to do. I'm going to push the nearest button. I'm going to touch KLUD, four-letter identifier. The info tab, I'm going to paste KLUD, expand communications, touch 118.1 twice and then use the flip-flop button, and that's all you have to do. If you'd like to really know everything about the Avidine IFD, the shortcuts, how to use it when things go wrong, not just when things are normal, that's what our private three-day Mastery Not Minimums program is. I'll come train in your airplane, helicopter, or for your fleet uh, anywhere in the world. We also have some great six-plus-hour online video trainings that many people stop start with. If you'd like to learn more quick tips or even ask me a question, come on over to avidinetraining.com and get information on all of our programs. Thanks for hanging out. It's Gary, the guy in the pink shirt. I'll talk to you soon.